Okay, here's the plan. We're going to make a self-running or automated slideshow. It's very similar to my other slideshow uh, tutorial. If you've already seen it, you got half this done. So I've already started my HTML5 canvas. I am going to grab an image, um, an image component, and I'm going to drop it in here. Make it big enough to work for me. Uh, let's make it uh, 360 by 240 that'll be fine I don't need any bigger than that and I'll move it to the center great we're ready we need to give it an instance name if you don't give it an instance name this won't work because the instance name acts like the um, ID so I'm gonna call this big with a capital B image with capital I no spaces big image hit return we're ready to rock it's so now we need to get a source. So if we click the pen, I happen to have a folder full of images uh, on my desktop. So we go to my desktop and images, images, images. There we go. I'm going to grab the first one, say OK, say OK, and then we can test it in the browser, command return. And yeah, there's my picture. OK. It's a little prep work you have to do, which is prepare your uh, images. Now, you don't have to resize them, but I would because the bigger a file is, the more likely it should be resized. So resize it to the largest you're going to have, you're going to use, okay? And then name each one of the photos you want in your slideshow, photo, P-H-O-T-O, -O, underscore, number one, dot JPEG, and then do them, sec you know, in the, in the uh, order you want them to go. So then name the next one, photo underscore two, photo underscore three, et cetera, et cetera. So now what we need to do is, because we've got the picture in there, we need to create the actions. And here's what we'll do. So the first thing we created was a variable named image count, capital I, capital C, equals 1. This is really important because this is how we keep count of the images. We created another variable called total images, small t, capital I, equals 5. So we're using 5 images. That makes sense. So the next thing is the function, how we're going to get it to count it and keep it going in case it hits one it'll go back to five so it'll loop through so we have function I named it change it all one word capital I passed it a parameter in between the parentheses image direct or direction so we have image count spelled the same way that the variable is you can copy and paste that in because it'll work equals image count plus image direction semicolon so just copy and paste those names in so you won't screw it up then we have an if statement if open parentheses image count is greater than total images close parentheses open curly brace image count equals one so if it gets over the total images over five you go back to one close parentheses close parentheses all right now absolutely essential save this so save it as um, self. You can name it anything you want. Uh, running. Um, so I'm going to put it in a folder I already made called self-running. There's nothing in there, so I'll save it. Now the next thing to do, is, which is also essential, is to publish it. So let's publish it. Now, why did I do that? So if we'll go over to my to here we'll take a quick look at why I did that uh, documents here we go new um, I'm just like everybody I got like 12 million folders you know kind of thing self-running slides here we go once you do that besides creating all these it creates a folder called images and in that is the first folder now what we're gonna do now I have on my desktop I had that folder name images I'm gonna select all the other four Hold the control key I'm on a Mac and copy the items you can just drag them in if you want and I go back to my other folder and I will put them in or paste them into the image folder right here once I do that control and then paste for images once I do that they're all available to be called when I need them so let's get to the big kahuna here how are we going to get these to show and rotate? Well, what we're going to do is we create another function. So function, just type the word out, function. 
we're going to call this play this now. Open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly brace, return. We have to set an interval. Now, an interval is just a way of keeping time. So we're going to set an interval of a few seconds so that we can see it before it changes. And then we're going to open some parentheses and we're going to type in here function. Function. Um, then we're going to open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly brace, return. Okay. First thing we need to do is call the very first that one right there, the very first function, and we can just paste that in. Now, open parentheses, we had to pass it a parameter. We're going to pass the parameter direction as one, semicolon. That's it. Okay. Next thing, we need to talk to the image. So we'll go dollar sign because we're using jQuery. Once we put the component in, we can use jQuery. Open parentheses, open double quotes, pound sign, big with a capital G image, because that's what we named it. Close parentheses, dot. We're going to change the attribute, ATTR. And the attribute we're going to change is open parentheses, open quotes, the SRC. That's how we get it, comma open parentheses and we need to give that to it so we know what we know is that the images we're looking for in a folder called images and that it's their names are photo underscore now here's where we use some magic so close the um, double quotes add a plus sign and you want the word image count. So that's our variable that we were using. Plus sign, open parentheses, and dot jpg. Now sometimes you might have be using um, a like a Mac, a JPEG. You can use pings in here. You can use whatever you need, but they all have to be the same. Just remember that. Close quotes, close parentheses, close the curly brace, comma. Now we're going to give it a time. So let's say 3,000, which is the same as saying three seconds, close parentheses, semicolon. Now we have one last thing to do, and that's to play this per particular function. So we'll just copy this. Paste it here, semicolon. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Noticed I had nothing. Well, there's a reason for that. I had an extra curly brace because I had closed the curly brace here. See, curly brace, curly brace. We have too many curly braces, so delete that. Now, when we do it, command return. By the way, it's a common mistake. And if you just watch this for three seconds, you'll see him move. This is a really nice Navajo I met in Canyon de Chez. And once he reaches the end of throwing his at ladle, he'll pop back to one and then we'll start all over again. And that's how you have a self-running slideshow. That's it. I'm done. Adios.